What's going on guys, me Dan for Dicker Films here, I'm back with another episode of NHL 16. Today we are going to be playing the Buffalo Sabres, and right here we have Patrice Bergeron beating Ryan O'Reilly at the faceoff, and oh my god, a shot already. And um, yeah, Buffalo, once again, is, is it's just trash, man, it's just trash, it's just like Edmonton. Edmonton and Buffalo are the two worst teams in the league um, last year. I don't know who the frick is the worst this year, probably the Flyers, like every Philadelphia sports team. Am I right? Uh, right here. Oh, okay. I see you, Rask. I see you. Ryan O'Reilly gets freaking robbed. That should be... That's illegal. I, actually, no. That is illegal in like 19 different countries. Um, yeah, they're just firing shots. Shots are being fired. So this team, they have a little bit of talent. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. They're not completely trash. I mean, their defense... <laughs> It, 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 their defense is pretty bad. All right, I'll say that. They, they do have a Vander Kane who can be good at times. Same with Ryan O'Reilly, uh, Sam Reinhardt, you know. And then the rising Jack Eichel. And I saw that pass the other night. Oh, man. Here, uh, hold on. Right here, David Krejci on a breakaway. He's going to go and he's going to shoot. That's safe. But, yeah, I saw Jack Eichel with the game-winning goal where it, like, popped right over his head. And then it just came right down from him. And he just freaking whipped it home and posture knock right there with a freaking bomb oh my god speaking of bomb kevin miller wants to join the bomb party um yeah, they should just become army generals at this point because they're just dropping they're just dropping nukes on some countries you know what i'm saying uh right here a lot of chances for us and look at this i'm not editing this part which means there will be a fight right right right, right? And we know it won't be ryan o'reilly or bergeron because they're like the two most peaceful people in the league uh that mostly Ryan O'Reilly, Bergeron is. Can, Bergeron can get a little bit rough because uh, remember that fight against Josh George's in the Montreal game? Oh my God, he killed him! He killed him! He freaking killed him! This is Matt Irwin up to Matt Bolesky. He's gonna skate in. He's gonna skate out. He's gonna shoot. He's not gonna score. Oh, but there's a rebound opportunity. Bolesky again with the backhand. I'm not sure who that was. Who the frick is that? Who just who just who just did the things? I, was that Ronaldo with the backhand and then uh, Bolesky also got the backhand? I don't know. It was backhand, backhand. Um. Front hand, back hand from Kian Peel. Right here, this is Alexander Koklachev. Um, he gets, he just gets destroyed right there. This is Bolesky. Cannot recover the puck. Um, this is up to, uh, uh, what the frick, Diamago? Did, did I just read that correctly? Diamago? What the heck? Never heard him in my life, but for some reason, we're going to get a penalty. And Adam McQuaid absolutely decks the guy. And here comes Patrice Bergeron down the ice. And he shoots one, and he scores. But now look at this. It is Rasmus Ristolainen versus Patrice Bergeron. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure Ristolainen is on the Blackhawks. I don't know. Is he? I'm pretty sure he's on the Blackhawks. But I could, I could be mistaken. I don't know. Um, he loses to Bergeron because... <laughs> this game is unrealistic. <laughs> and the difficulty, the fighting difficulty, I guess, isn't really that high. Um, yeah, but th th since this is in the past, I've actually been getting better at NHL. Um, to the point where I can, you know, score when I want to. So then I move up the difficulty, of course. Um, you know, I'm get I'm, I think I'm getting better, at least. I don't know if I'm truly improving. Right there, a bomb. And I'm also learning hockey along the way. And that's what I like about sports simulating games. They, they teach you stuff. Like, I remember on D-Team Football, when I actually played in real life, that's when I was in, like, the third grade or whatever. I, uh... You know, I knew I knew a lot about football. You know, that, that taught me something. But when I started playing Madden and I started to get in the play call and understand things. Oh, my God, right there they score as they just smack it home. Uh, was that Gergensen's? Probably. Um, they have Tyler Ennis, too. Okay, I'm remembering these people. Tyler Ennis is on my HUD team, and he's freaking amazing. Wait, wait, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's there. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, When I started playing Madden, I understood play call, and I understood a lot more. That's exactly what's happening uh, with this game. Of course, I've never played hockey in real life, though. Um, I, I'm, I'm just... I don't know. I, I wish I could. If I would have learned to skate at a very young age, I would have I would have played hockey, definitely. But, um, you know, I would have gotten an out of when I was older, older because I want to keep my teeth for some job interviews. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, right here, uh, they're just going to skate into the zone as we check them hard against the boards. And this is Evander Kane uh, up to Josh George. That's right. Oh, man. Here, oh, 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 man. What I said about Josh George is what's relevant. We could get, we could get a little bit of a rematch. You know what I'm saying? I thought I'm, I'm thinking things, but none of them are right. I thought George's was on freaking Columbus. No, that's Bork. That's on Columbus. Okay. This is Fronson. He's going to come up. Hans and Franz. We're going to pump you up right here. This is Ryan Spooner refusing to pass right here. David Pasternak. He's got a guy. Uh, he's got Jimmy Hayes to his left, but he ins instead shoots it, and that is going to be saved. It's Rasmus Ristol line in behind the net. He's going to get out to Zach Bogosian. Bogosian up to uh, someone. McGinn. 
to Fog Foligno. Oh, I almost just said Fogliano. What the frick? Nick Foligno. That's his name. Um, yeah, I know a lot. How do I know all these people? Oh, because of, I know what. Uh, two BC Productions. You know the, the guy. I, I I forget his name. It's it's complicated, man. Um, he he has. He did a franchise, and I watched it, and that's what, that's where I know these names from. I feel so freaking intelligent, as this is uh, Bogosian, and people are passing around. I can't keep up with that. And it's up to Kane, and that gets intercepted right there. Kane's pass does. Um, this is going to be Patrice Bergeron. Bergeron's going to take a shot, and that is almost hit in by the defense. That was almost hit in by Ristolainen. But Ristolainen up to O'Reilly, back to Ristolainen, up to O'Reilly. They're just passing, passing, passing. They're skating backwards. Like, that's how kind Ryan O'Reilly is. He is a true uh, Canadian. I hope he's Canadian, because that would make so much sense. Right here, this is Patrice Bergeron. He's going to skate around, and I hit a button. <laughs> that's, not, that's never a good thing. Right here, pulls out and just fires one on the goalie. I'm not sure who is in goal right now. Who is the goalie for Buffalo? Yeah, I have no idea who the goalie for Buffalo is. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sucks for me. All right, this is Tori Krug, the Michigan Stater, as we all know and love him. As right, this is Louis Erickson who's going to go and get a shot. And yeah, oh, oh, oh my God, snipe freaking city. As um, yeah, this is Patrick Marlowe's, I think, third game now, and he has done absolutely nothing. Um, that's why the lines look all shaken up. Right now, it's Hayes, Spooner, and Poshnock on that third line. Marlowe, Erickson, and Krejci on that uh, second line. And Bergeron, Marchand, and uh, Connolly on the first line. So, yeah, that, that's what it is. And then everyone else, Bolesky, Ronaldo, and Koklachev is on the fourth. Uh, those are the lines right there. And then my defense always stays the same, which is Chara, um, Quaid. And then my second line is Krug and uh, Seidenberg. And then the third line is Irwin and uh, Miller. Uh, Kevin Miller, not Colin Miller, because I want to sort of say Colin Miller next year. This is Josh Georges who gets planted against the goal. And oh my god, a ripper from David Pashanak who's been really, really good uh, in this game and in real life. Now, they have Matt Molson too. Why is this team not good? I don't get it. Why is this team so bad? Molson is pretty good. You know, he's not terrible. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. We got McGinn and uh, Matt Irwin. And I'm not sure if Matt Irwin fights. I've actually never seen Matt Irwin play a hockey game in real life. I just realized that. Did he play last year at the end of last year when I started watching? I don't know. It's been a really long time. I know Kevin Miller was injured at the end of last year, which is sort of annoying. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Oh, my God, right there. Adam McQuaid gets planted. The fans are going crazy. Um, yeah, and you don't want to mess with McQuaid. McQuaid will come after you as you see him. He's, he's starting to press Y, and, and the Y is coming out. This is Weber, not Shea Weber, but the crappy Weber who went to uh, – Got traded oh my god yeah he got traded i'm not sure to where um was it was it the freaking detroit i'm i don't know god this is bugging me did he go to detroit i'm pretty sure he went to detroit right here this is um chara with a nice checking ability and oh my god a shot by josh georges here comes patrice bergeron again on another breakaway he's gonna pass it over to david Krejci on a short-handed um rush and right there the Bergeron the one-timer and that is a huge save I thought Bergeron got that you know put a five hole or you know top shelf that piece of crap I don't know right here he's gonna look around again trying to go for the one-timer and that is cut down by Bogosian up to George's George's all the way up to Tyler Ennis Ennis is gonna get absolutely freaking destroyed by Krug but he could not get it and there's a shot by Evander Kane and that is saved by Tuka Rask um this is Gergensen's Gergensen's shot goes off of yeah, and it was Gergensen that scored. Um, goes off of uh, a play. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so far behind. Right there. Look at this awkward moment. Come on, Rask. you got to cover up, man. Uh, this is Weber. Weber is going to look for someone to pass to. Fires a shot. Saved by Rask. Um, it is going to not be picked up. This is Gergensen's again. Gergensen's is just all over the place. Fires a very uh, bad angle. Um, backhander. He needs to go a little bit of geometry in his life, man. You know, geometry is always the answer. Uh, as right there, Jimmy Hayes loses the puck. This is Weber up to Matt Molson. Molson is going to circle around one of our guys, and he's got a little bit of a rush. He's got a guy to pass to, but that pass is broken up by Kevin Miller. Excellent play right there. That is what we like to see. As now he dumps it right up to Hayes on the rush. A one on two has the has the disadvantage. I should really wait for teammates. You know, I'm just looking back at this old gameplay. Like I, I, I was pretty bad, or I, I wasn't bad. I would say I was average. Because I remember on rookie, I, I just came out and just destroyed him the very, very first game. This is Alexander Koklachev right here. Koklachev fires one, and that is saved by Johnson. Um, oh, 
John, who's Johnson? Frick, I'm trying to remember, man. I don't know their goalie. Frick their goalie. I'm sorry, Johnson. I'm so sorry. This is uh, someone up to Felino. Felino over to someone else. They have a huge breakaway here. And Rask makes a sit-out la lag peg. What the frick? La leg leg pad save. Try I don't know how these announcers do it, man. I don't know how they do it. This is um, Adam McQuaid up to Brett Kiley. Kiley gets absolutely destroyed by... Uh, Rasmus risks the line as this is O'Reilly over to Ennis. Back to O'Reilly. O'Reilly has a guy to pass to, but he takes the... He doesn't really take a shot. He just walks it in like walking the dog. That was pretty stupid. Right here, this comes... Uh, here comes... Brett Kiley gets cut down by Zach Bogosian. Bogosian up to O'Reilly over to Kane. Evander Kane, pretty good player up. Oh, my God. He comes the whole way out of the blue paint to Rob... Um, uh, uh, Ryan O'Reilly of that. Here comes Bergeron. Bergeron's going to come and fire one. And it goes in and they score! Just like that. It's 2-1 Bruins. And that was an excellent goal. I don't know how that went by Johnson, but it did. Uh, here comes Gergensen skating at mid-ice. Sort of what like Steve Ott did in the last episode. Um, yeah, just Disney princesses on ice. I don't get it, game. Why do you do this to me? They also have Brian Johnson. My God, where did all the Montreal Canadiens go? Oh, yeah, speaking of Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> <laughs> Your team is trash. Um, anyway, right here, this is we, we need to kill a little bit, like, of 14 minutes, and uh, everything will be okay. Oh, my God. We tried to check him there and get the puck, but it does not work. Here comes Shea Weber's pass. It is blocked. And now here comes David Poshnock up the ice. He enters the zone. Tries to pass over. Uh, Jimmy Hayes does. And that is broken up by the defender. Here comes Matt. Not Matt Foligno. Nick Foligno. Foligno's just going to dump it in here. And there's a four checker that is aggressively four checking my player um oh man he uh, Tuka Rask robs him right there but he's out in front and Tuka Rask is staying with the puck and Matt Irwin is not playing good right now he needs to he's get the puck and get it out and that is something that we're having trouble with right now is this is Kevin Miller up to David Pasternak Pasternak is gonna circle around he's gonna look for someone he's gonna get it back to the point fires a shot almost goes through Johnson but it doesn't right here the Michigan State are up to Dennis Steinberg and the rebound is almost put in by O'Reilly I believe that or who was that I don't know it, it look I saw oh something here's Erickson back to the point to Krug Krug shot off of Johnson, Bogosian over to Kane. Kane is going to get... We try to knock Kane off the puck, but it's O'Reilly who recovers it. O'Reilly is going to dump it in. It is recovered by Louis Erickson. Erickson now has it and is just going to dump it down the ice. David Krejci trying to delay the icing or get the icing away. And there is no icing on the play, but he cannot get the puck. His wrist aligning gets it, passes it up to uh, Ryan O'Reilly. Gets absolutely destroyed by Tori Krug, who is still running over him. That was that was a big hit. And now Dennis Steinberg gets destroyed by Evander Kane. And Evander Kane gives him a couple pushes behind the net. And the fans here are going crazy after the two fights tonight. This is David Krejci over to Brett Conley. Conley fires one. That's a save by Johnson. Bogosian up to Matt Molson. Molson is going to get hit off the puck, but he gets it back. And now it's a three-on-one situation here. This is saved by Tuka Rask. Um, this is recovered by Gergensen. Gergensen's back up to the point, but they're offsides as Georges carries it in to the zone. Right here, this is Zach Renato now winning off, the, getting the puck off the faceoff, and many chances right here for the Boston Bruins, but nothing is going in. This is Diamago up to, over to DeSol, De De Dolores, what the frick? And he buries it into the goal, number 44, Dolores. I don't know what his name is, man. Um, and he ties the game up here 2-2 with three uh, 45 left to go in the game. This is Ryan O'Reilly now down the ice. He's gonna about to meet uh, Adam McQuaid. He does, but not that hard of it. And oh man, what a risky pass by Zidane Char to pass it to um, Adam McQuaid out in front of the goal. Here comes Marshan who turns the puck over in the offensive zone, but Bergeron recovers it from a player that did not uh, get a good hold of it. And Brett Connolly shoots one. This is Marshan on his back. It fires one across the net. It bounces off the post right here to the point that hits it off of a leg. Marshan down low, and we're putting so much pressure on them right now, and that's how we need to finish this game off. Ennis takes a huge hit by Chara. Um, McQuaid is playing home, and right there, it's intercepted by Zidane Chara. The Bruins can get one last rush before the game, or a couple last rush, actually. Here's Marshan's shot on Johnson, and he's going to cover that one up. Here's Seinberg over to Krug's. Krug's bomb is blocked, and now Matt Molson on a breakaway. A two-on-one, back to someone, and they're going to go around the net. Molson has it. They're going to get out to Gergensen's. Gergensen's fires. 32 seconds left in the game. This is going to be up to Patrick Marlowe. He needs the score here to get the Bruins to win and stay on this team. He fires a backhander. 
and David Krejci is going to get it behind the net. Uh, Marlowe out in front. Marlowe is looking for something. Fires back into to Louis Erickson, who tries to put it in the net, but it does not work. Now it's Spooner's line out on the ice, seeing what they can do. But they're going to get countered by Gergensen's and Molson. Here comes Matt Molson. A one-on-one -on -one situation. Fires it wide of the net. Molson is going to look around. He's going to get it to Gergensen's. A whole bunch of one-timers right here. I can't keep up. Um, this is going to be the end of the game as we go into overtime um, with five minutes on the clock, guys. Three on three. You know the deal. Right here, look at the pressure from Ryan O'Reilly. The great defensive uh, plays are going on as this is saved by Adam McQuaid to keep in the zone as Bergeron and now Zach Bogosian and Patrice Bergeron are going to go at it and Bogosian is I don't know if Bogosian is a rough neck or not I don't know but he takes down Bergeron right there and as this is a pretty even fight and now it's uh, in Bogosian's favor and Bergeron is going to get beat by Zach Bogosian and guys that is not looking good our best player or best offensive player on the team is not going to be here for overtime. As this is covered up by Johnson's, that is Charlie's shot. Uh, Krejci gets pushed off the puck, but the guy didn't realize that there was no one there to get the puck. Um, this is Ryan O'Reilly again. He's going to dump it down, and I don't know where his teammates are. I don't know what they're doing, but that is going to go all the way down the ice, and no icing. It actually stops right before the icing line. As Franzi gets absolutely destroyed by Krejci, fires one, and it's Scores! David Krejci gets the first star, followed by Tuka Rask and Patrice Bergeron. That's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Remember, eat your veggies, go to school, tank our films out. Peace!